Yo, what's happening, y'all? It's your man Valentine, Betty. Coming to you from on the grind. You know what it is, man. It's the home edition, y'all. And, you know, we can't give you outside all the time. Van City weather, man. This is what they do. This is what happens. You just never know what you're going to get in Van City. But you still got indoors. So we indoors. Home edition style. Man. So it's Friday, y'all. It's Friday. And, you know, it's been quiet on the, uh, on it seems like on all fronts, man, except in the U.S. where pandemic cases are spiking. Thank goodness, Van City, we holding it down. B.C. holding it down, y'all. But the, um, the fact that, I mean, marches are still happening, I think. And and people still doing their thing, trying to get the word out that Black Lives Matter. You know what I mean? So, and we truly have to continue. You cannot stop the movement. You know what I mean? You just we just got to keep on, keep on, keeping on, and keep up the momentum and don't stop. So, people, if you marching, man, y'all got to be safe, man. Wear your mask, do whatever you got to do, social distance. And make sure everybody get home safely. You feel what I'm saying? So, it's still a touchy, touchy subject, man. And everybody seems like they're affected by this. And we cannot forget where we were at almost, say, a month ago. You know, George Floyd, can't forget them. Ahmaud Aubrey, Breonna Taylor, you know, all the people that's been, and all the indigenous people that's being killed at the same time. And just mental health. So this is something that we've got to continue. And systemic racism, is all over. It lives and breathes in the city. So our time is now to stop it. You know what I mean? So it's time to stop the socioeconomic discrimination. It's time to stop the police brutality. Listen, the key thing right now is the silence is not an option, man. And you cannot be silent right now. You need to stand up and let your voice be heard. And that is the only way we're going to get through this. And we're going to get through this together. Because the fight cannot move on unless we bring everybody together. And everybody has to be fighting for the same thing. You feel what I'm saying? So, systemic racism, institutionalized racism... Socioeconomic discrimination, police brutality, all of that. You cannot be silenced about it right now. So, that's what I'm saying, man. And listen, my thing today is about we cannot be silent because black lives matter. And Black Lives Matter in schools. So we've got to get Mr. Fleming, Rob Fleming, the education minister, we got to get him up on point because the key thing is we need to get black history in schools. We need to start it right now. You know what I mean? We need to put it down right now so we can get it ready for schools in September, if schools open in September. You know what I mean? There's no sense stopping it right now. You've got to put this in. And then, you know, I look at this and I go, man, who can you really trust right now? You know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some examples of, and then you can, you can decide for yourself because 
Can you trust the police right now? Can you trust the politicians? Can you trust your teachers? Can you trust the head of some big company? I mean, can you? I mean, any one of those people we should be trust we should be able to trust, right? Especially the police, the teachers, and your politicians. Because you hold them to a higher standard, right? So, I mean, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you two cents because I'm gonna give you one for when I lived in Florida and when I lived in Canada. So in Florida, I mean I mean, I've been beaten with a baton and tased. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? So you know where I'm going with that. And then in in, in, in Canada, the the sheer fact of of being a uh, you know where you 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 see the police and they roll up on you and and put their lights on but do it on purpose just to show the power. You see what I'm saying? And so I've had that too. So can you trust the police in, in Van City? Can you trust the police in the United States? You know what? At the moment, I can trust only the police that I know. Because, listen, we have, I have police in my family. And I'm still saying it. So, and they need to come together, man, to, to make sure that things like that don't happen. You shouldn't have to go ahead and put your lights on just to show the, the, your authority. Or, I mean, in, in the U.S. it's totally different than Canada. So, there's, there's, there's two... There's two different dynamics there, man. And this is why so many things are happening in the U.S. Because the police is brutal. And it doesn't mean that Vancouver ain't the same. Because I've been through, I've, treated, I've been treated badly in both countries. So, and then we think about it. We talk about politicians, man. Can we trust them? The politicians are here to make things, to, to basically put something together to make the country or make it better for for everyone right but they don't they haven't made it better for us they made it harder for us to get jobs to be equal i mean all these big companies the, the uh, and whatever it is with the politicians man they they need to make the the um the job market make jobs that people can actually get you know what I mean? That will be equal and make money so they can take their families out of where they live and have a good job. Do something that can help us, not hinder us. You know what I mean? So you've got to, that institutionalized thing has to end. So, and then we know we have teachers who we can trust, but there's some teachers right now that are acting a fool. Because we know, I know there's some teachers out there who are doing stupid things. But teachers, you need to start helping the, the, the people by teaching. You know what I mean? By teaching certain things. Teaching about black history. Teaching about the indigenous community. You know what I mean? Don't, don't waver from that. And don't be scared to teach it. If you don't know it, this is the time for you to start learning. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, I understand I gave you some things that, you know, you might have to think about. Can you trust these people? Can you trust these? Can you trust these people? But, you know, I also have to give you people we can trust because I've been there. And as I was growing up, I had police who you can trust. You know what I mean? So, and my man John and Brian, I, st I still hold them dear to my heart. Because these two people who were police, they helped me as a youngster. So I know that there are some police that we can trust. So you got to remember that now. And teachers there are, because I had teachers who I can trust too. But right now we got to make sure that the teachers get the education and get the knowledge about the black history that they got to teach in schools. And they cannot forget about that. And 
politicians right now. You got to make, you got to do, you got to mandate in order for us to get back to where we can actually say, you know what, we hold you to that higher standard because you need to put in place certain reforms that can help people get jobs and not hinder people from getting jobs. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, you know, it's, 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 it's all about can we see ourselves in the shoes of another of another person and the key thing is if you ain't if you ain't that skin color man you can never ever be in my shoes and never ever feel how i feel every single day and you know because it doesn't matter where we are it seems like racism is always going to rear its ugly head i mean the young kid who got punched by some dude some white dude i mean what reason is that Shouldn't we be able to trust our fellow man to be able to help us instead of trying to beat us down? This is what I'm saying. So, I mean, people, you, you, people putting nooses around the city. I mean, the bus driver that finds the noose on the bus and the, 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 the nooses in Toronto. I mean, what kind of stuff is that? We should be able to sit down next across from our white brethren and be like, hey, chit chat and say what's on our minds and talk to them about stuff. They may feel uncomfortable about talking about the situation about black and white. But we should be able to trust them. You feel what I'm saying? And they should be able to trust us to sit down and trust us to talk about what they want to talk about and let it flow. Because you want to have those conversations. So this is what I'm saying to y'all. Who can you trust right now? To be able to have that conversation. I mean, that Lynn Bayak, she still wants to get back into parliament. But you know what? I hope those people, the indigenous people fight not to let her back in. Because four days of training does not help. She's a politician that I can't trust. I mean, can you trust these other politicians right now? I mean, we're looking like not really because they ain't really doing much right now. What are they doing to help us? Except pretty words, man. Pretty words don't cut it. What's the police doing right now? Oh, stop and search. We're going to stop that. You should have stopped that a long time ago. Stop and frisk when it was in New York with Bloomberg. It was discriminatory and it's still discriminatory. So... I mean, is that the only thing that you can do to say, oh, we need to stop that? No, you need to stop beating us down, putting your knee on your neck, choke holding us. This is what it is. We need to be able to trust y'all again. So you need to start doing something for us to be able to trust you. This is what is this is what it's like, because if I walk out my door. I should be able to trust that I'm going to come back home. You feel what I'm saying? So where's the trust gone, y'all? We need to get it back. So let's all sit down at the table and regain that trust. That's what's got to happen. For myself, I've got to regain that trust of the police with the politicians, the teachers I'm okay with. Well, you know, right now, I ain't okay with Rob Fleming, though. He needs to get his act together. And every other teacher that's been doing some silly things and letting things happen. But this is what I'm saying. We need to regain that trust, y'all. So let's sit down at the table and regain that trust. Because this movement is not going to stop. This train is still coming your way. And sometimes if you're not going to, if you're not, don't, if you don't want to sit down at the table, then you just got to move out the way and let somebody else get in there so we can start ha making things happen. That's what we got to do. Man, I know. I think I'm done, man. I got to stop talking so much, yo. Remember, y'all, let's sit down and, and, and get it happening and make it happen. And let's start trusting again and bring that. Let's, let's regain that trust is what I'm saying. Yo. Remember, pandemic is spiking. 
Let's keep Van City safe. You understand? Make sure everyone wears their mask, wash their hands, sanitize, social distance. Do what you gotta do. Protect your family. It doesn't just include you. So do not be selfish. You feel what I'm saying? I'm your man Valentine, baby. If you think it's your time to shine, you need to get on the ground with your man Valentine. Let's regain that trust, y'all.